The violin, in the 16th century, was considered an instrument for commoners, but with the changes in design made by Antonio Stradivari, the modern violin emerged. It became a powerful solo instrument and now forms the backbone of the modern symphony orchestra. Today, Richard and David Schlub continue the art of violin making at the Loft Violin Shop in Columbus. I started playing the violin because my father is a violinist and uh, played violin all the way through high school with the with the intent of being an engineer in college. And I started off to college in engineering. And after three years of engineering, decided that I, I didn't really like that. Uh, stumbled into music school and uh, got my degree in uh, music education with a major in strings. Taught the violin in the public schools in Wilmington, Ohio for four years. and graduated from there into the violin visit business with uh, Mr. Joseph, or actually John Ricker, here in Columbus. Worked with him for four years, kind of in a, under an apprentice program, learning how to repair instruments, and then from there started uh, my business here in 1976, in January. When we make an instrument, it's it's not just kind of setting down to make the instrument, okay, now I'm going to make a violin and have the luxury, if, as, if you will, of making an instrument from start to finish. Generally, we'll start an instrument in the fall or the winter, and if we're lucky, we'll have it done in a year's time. Um, and not because it takes the whole year, but uh, the hours involved might be oh, 100 to 200 hours in making an instrument, but uh, the instrument is really better if you're if you make it over a period of time so that everything has a chance to season and uh, settle before you coat it with varnish. Well, the first part you do when you make a violin is bend the sides, and this is actually the only part on the violin that's bent. The curves that you see in the top and the back are carved in but the sides start with a thin strip of wood and very carefully hopefully without bending or breaking you bend them to match the shape of the mold Got to check every once in a while close you have to keep the wood wet too if it dries out then it's more likely to crack after I bid the sides to fit into the mold and there are actually six pieces all joined together and glued at the corners with blocks. The spruce, which is what the top is made of, carves actually very easily, just so long as you're going in the right direction with the grain. The maple is quite a bit harder to carve and takes a good deal more time to rough out. last step after gluing the neck into the body is varnishing the instrument. And we make our own varnish here, all of natural ingredients, much like Stradivari would have 300 years ago. Stradivari evolved the modern shape of the violin. Before him, violins tended to be higher arched, uh, sweeter sounding instruments, but not very powerful. When he came along, he flattened it down kind of standardized the shape and the size a little bit. And since Stradivari, people tend to make Stradivari copies.
It's very gratifying to play an instrument that you've made. In fact, uh, recently we got together and we had a quartet of our instruments and we got together with some friends and played. We'd made all four instruments and that was fun.